first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Raka, Kodash, double honors unto the elders and apostles, a great millstone, salutation to you, Akiam, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. This is your brother, Yasad, back at you with another lesson, willing to edify me. So this one here is our deliverance would be via the, the, the chariots, right? And yes, we know the, 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 um, the stereotype, the, the blaspheme against the angels of the Lord and the, the, the chariots, you know, um, showing it to be UFOs, you know, that, that, you know, um, the angel being aliens coming to abduct and all these foolishness, you know, because that is, that is, they know, they show, hey, the scriptures, um, we saw he's carry out a diligent search, even wiser than Daniel, right? So this, this precepts prove that this man knows, you know, the, knows who the, the angel, that they are angels, he knows that these chariots, the wheel within the wheel, right? Mm -hmm. That they are the they are the actual vehicles of the Lord, the spiritual vehicles of the of the Lord. You know where the these angel uses to to move about, right? So they come in and and we know that that this place is gonna be flooded with chariots soon to come. And why the Lord say, Lo he cometh with clouds, all eyes gonna see him, Revelation 1 and 7, right? But with the coming of these chariots, there's gonna be destruction and deliverance. There's gonna be destruction and deliverance, you know, and the elect would be delivered via these chariots, right? Because without the deliverance from the chariot, Hey, those brothers in Babylon and all the designated areas that the Lord is about to strike with with thermal nuclear fire and also um, um, lasers, laser beam from these chariots, you know, everyone would be doomed. So that is why we would surely need the deliverance via the chariots, right? No chariot appearing. Is no deliverance, right? So that's why we had the hope in that, right? Ah, uh, I'm gonna come here first and get the book of Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And what, what in indignation is that speaking of? Um, in, in the book of um, Zephaniah, Zephaniah 3 and 8, I should say, um, Right. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord. And this is what we're doing. we trust trusting in the Lord. We're waiting on the Lord because through Him, we're going to be delivered until the day that I rise up to the prey. Right? Until the Lord is ready to come and render this man's recompense. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation again. Come in and, and you know, come into thy, thy chambers and shut the door. Well, how, how are we coming into the chambers? It's by we following along with, you know, being obedient unto the Lord. Because the Lord say, take no thought for thy life. We shall eat, we shall drink none of these things, you know. We, we whole objective is, is to serve the Lord, come out, prophesy, do as well because... And that the this way we're gonna hey the scriptures and make your call of election sure. And we know by we doing this our election 
the nearest way we, we come out of here is, is by entering into the chariot. Right? Because this place is already do doomed. The Lord is about to set his great judgment upon this place. That's why he say he created the, the, the smith that blew the coals. Right? And great judgment is coming. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with fire of my jealousy. Yapa. In the book of Isaiah, I think it's 11. Oh, so. Bear with me. No. Um, where it says, The battle going to be with fuel of fire. Uh, Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You know? That is why you, you see an arms race taking place. You know, all of these nations pushing their assets, their resources into expanding the nuclear missile capabilities. Which is, hey, the Lord say he mustered the host of the battle. So the Lord is in control. Um, Proverbs twenty one and one, it says he he um he. he oh, let me just get it. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water he turn it, it whatsoever he will. So with the Lord in control, are the kings of the earth, in our way for. Example, Putin, Xi Jinping, you know, Kim Jong Un, all, all these, you know, the Lord putting that, raising up that mighty war spirit at, at the days are all upon these the, these nations. Because he, he, his determination is to gather them, you know, to, to execute judgment, you know, and World War Three is, is, is a part of the Lord indignation upon the, the, the nations, you know. Because we know that battle is going to be with fuel and fire and nuclear missiles, you know. And the whore is going to be the target. Or with the destruction of the whore, the Lord is going to is gonna make that destruction upon the other nation. Because all these nations are armed up with nuclear missiles. Right? It is obvious when Babylon the Great, you know, being shot up, these nations mm -hmm. would, would fight for world supremacy. They would fight for world supremacy. Right? So, hey, the Lord planned. So, hey, the Lord hadn't forgotten these nations. Yes. The, the Babylon is, is, is the key player for destruction. But all the nation is going gonna, is gonna to get it. Right? Um, so, yeah. So, that is why, hey, we actually need the deliverance of the child. Because with that destruction and that fire. This flesh cannot stand withstand that. Right, so we enter into the chambers, you know, um and and we shut in the door, you know. Let's say for behold the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Yeah. So the Lord come out of that place. That's why he say, Louis count with clouds, all eyes gonna see it. Right? So, <laughs> that, is, that is gonna be a real dread scene. Really, scriptures say that um, the, the, the earth is gonna melt like an orphan Malachi. Malachi chapter 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that, that shall burn as an orphan, and all the proud and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And that day that cometh shall burn them up, say the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So that is how dreadly the fire is going to be because we know the, 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 um, the heat that, that these nuclear missiles give off is, 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 is much hotter than the sun. Much, much, much hotter than the sun. You're looking at a couple million degrees. You know, which would melt concrete, melt iron, all these things. Wow. Right? So that's why we don't want to be 
caught up in, in into that as it's seen um revelation you know come out of my people that that you be not partakers of of a plague right which is in nuclear missile revelation 18 and 4 and i heard a voice from heaven saying come out of my people who are the lord people Amos chapter 3 of all the families of the earth you only have i known you israelites the hispanics the native the you know the the um you know the spanish the native the 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 the, the, the um the north americans right they also like the native americans you know the rubenite god you know yeah so so hey we had to come out of her and how we come out of her is 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 join along doing the will uh, the works i have about shame or shy preaching preparing our mind you know spiritually you know because we had to be prepared right we had to be prepared because this is something that is gonna happen the lord says word is not gonna return void unto him right so i'm gonna go here in the book of um, Matthew 24 and 31. It's and he shall send. What's that? That was his. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, Jacob's trouble shall the sun be darkened. Right? The nuclear missile that is going to hit the place the great mushroom cloud and smoke is gonna block out the sun even the moon and the moon shall not give a light and the stars shall fall from heaven those stars going into the same nuclear missiles because again the description of the prophets back then were up to, up to their knowledge you know and the powers of heaven shall be shaken you know and this one here going into uh, the, the governmental structure that ruling you know because they're gonna fall they're gonna be shaken they're gonna be you know taken off, out of that power and it's and then shall the sign of of the son of man in heaven and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man come in the clouds of heaven with with power and great glory so yeah the chariots the lord has come back with many many chariots the chariots are the lord are twenty thousand even thousands of angels that dwell in in, in, in sinai right it's and then right. and and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other you know for the for, from across the world you know so so the destruction which is the winds it wouldn't befall them right like why it see here in um revelation 11 and 12 let's see And they heard a great voice from heaven saying, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud in a chariot. And the enemies beheld them. Right? Because in that time, there's going to be Jacob's trouble, farming, wars, a lot of death, you know. And with World War Three going on. And judgment coming to the place. You know, hey. The chariots, we're we going to really need that need that, that to come out of this place right because it's gonna be you know babylon is gonna be uninhabitable right the way you'd say um um when it in in the book of zachariah 5 you know um zachariah 14 or 12 you know the eyes gonna be consumed away with with the heat you know the nuclear missiles, right? Um, 
Let's see here. First Thessalonians 4.17. Let's say, but yeah, then we which, uh, uh, the sixteen for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump, the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh shall, shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain, so them who come, you know, on the earth, the elect who on the earth, right? It said, shall be caught up together with them in, in the clouds, which is the chariots, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall they ever be with the Lord. Right? Because we know down here what was what is going to be taking place in Revelation 15 and 2. Where it says, and, it, and, and I saw as it were a sea of glass, which going into the chariot, you know, mingled with fire, because right under, the chariots what would be high up above in the sky you know would be the earth being sent with nuclear missile being burnt you know and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of Yahweh by Hashem you know because they, they're gonna be held behold the destruction they're going to witness the, the destruction of this place up in the, being delivered from that destruction up in the chariot, right? And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and sang the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord Yahweh, almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. You know, in Second Ezra 13 and 12, it speaks of when the Lord coming back, he's going to come unto a peaceable multitude. Uh, second Ezra 13 and 12. I'll close off this precept. And afterward, so I, the same man came down from the mountain, which is a chariot, because it was described as a mountain in Second Ezra 13, the, the three, third chapter. It says, And I beheld and lo, the man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, which is Yahweh Shai coming back with the angels. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Back in the Revelation 1 and 7, though he came into the clouds, you know, the thousands from heaven, the angels and the chariots, and all eyes, you know, they, they, they're going to be real. They're going to mourn because of him. Right? Verse 13, And there came much people unto him, way up, way off. Oh, so, verse 12, Afterwards, so why the man came, so it's the same man come down from the mountain and call unto another peaceable multitude which is elect and there came much people unto him whereof some were glad some were sorry and some of them were bound and others some brought of them that were offered then i was sick to great fear and i awake and said you know because the lord when he comes back he's gonna send out his angels you know to deliver you know, the like via the, the, the chariot before the trump, as it's saying, Job, uh, um, Job 5 19, where it says, He shall deliver thee in the six troubles, Jacob's trouble, he in the seven shall no evil touch thee. Because why, you know, we would be up in the chariot because the seven trouble, the seven angel, you know, the seven trumpet going into. And to the return of the Lord and the destruction of this place to the nuclear missiles and the, the, the zapping of the, of the, you know, laser beams from these chariots. But, but this is not going to touch the elect because the Lord is going to take them up in the chariot. You know, hopefully this lesson was very fine. Double and elders and apostles are good millstone. Salute to you. I came until the next one. Shalom.